abscesses hurt, and stabbing them with a needle and slicing them open with a scalpel hurts even more. Moderate sedation is always an option, but it takes a lot of time, and it definitely carries more risks than just using local anesthesia. Most of us have seen the old stick and stab technique of injecting lidocaine directly into the abscess and then cutting it open. But with just a few extra steps, you can make this process much less painful. Sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes it really is. So step one is to throw some emla on top of the abscess and put a tegaderm over it. Leave it alone for a while, maybe 30 minutes. This actually doesn't waste much of your time since you don't have to stand there and just watch. Go do other stuff. Check on your other patients, look at some labs, whatever. I don't know why the emla works so well on abscesses. Maybe it's because all the blood vessels are really dilated? Not sure. Buffer your lidocaine with sodium bicarbonate to remove that awful sting. Depending on the strength of the bicarb you have, it's either 8 or 9 mLs of lidocaine to 1 to 2 mLs of sodium bicarbonate. But if you have preservative-free lidocaine, either the cardiac lidocaine or the stuff in the little glass vials, you can skip buffering altogether. I like to use PPD syringes because the needles are super teeny and you can control the injection really well. I also use one larger syringe with a large bore needle, and we'll see why I do that later. The most important step is to warm up your local anesthetic before injecting it. If you're comfortable recapping needles, you can float them all in a warm water bath, or you can heat up your lidocaine and bicarbonate in a warm water bath before drawing them up, or you can lay the syringes on top of a hot, wet washcloth and then fold it over the syringes. It all works. Be smart and please test the heat of the water yourself so you don't inject boiling hot liquids into your patient's agonizingly painful abscess. Remove the emla and then start injecting the top of the abscess with the buffered warm lidocaine from the PPD syringes. If you've done it right, your patient should have minimal discomfort during this process. And this is the part that usually hurts the most. You've got to get some lidocaine into the abscess cavity. For this, I usually use the larger syringe with the bigger needle. You can either just inject lidocaine directly, or you can actually aspirate out some pus first and then inject lidocaine back into the cavity just to keep the pressure from building too high inside. Now pull out your IND kit and set it up while the lidocaine works its magic. Time to slice! Oh yes! So awesome! Now you gotta break up the loculations, which will still hurt a little bit. Irrigate the uh, abscess if you like to do that, and then put a dressing on it. But what about packing the abscess? Well, I don't think the evidence is really that great for it, so I don't usually do it. Uh, if a patient is really obese and has an abscess in the axilla or the buttock or somewhere else that's likely to get blocked off by adipose tissue, and if they're reliable enough to come back for a wound check, Sometimes I'll cut a strip off a sterile tourniquet, wipe it down uh, with some alcohol, and then actually make two incisions on either side of the abscess. And using a hemostat, pass the band of tourniquet through. Then I tie it down really gently, being careful not to put pressure on the tissue itself and cause ischemia. This technique keeps the cavity open so it can continue to drain, and when they come back for the wound check, you just snip on the side of the piece of tourniquet and pull it right out.